Welcome to another episode of Not For The Weak Minded. Now this video is going to incorporate a few different subjects, so please bear with me as I go through them. Now obviously the colours of the rainbow are in it, again, and I'm not going to go through that subject. I'm going to talk to you about other things, and this time it's going to be about the heart itself. Now the symbol of the heart, symbol for love and compassion, which many people think they have in this world by, I'm going to talk about it a little bit, pushing these ideologies of equal rights when none of us have been equal to begin with, so to speak, because we're not equal to the rulers, are we? So it is another symbol in plain sight, but the heart symbol itself is another symbol. Um, forgetting the LGBT colours in it. What you need to know about it is that they've lied to you about it. And essentially, your heart is not a pump. So you can Google this. The heart is not a pump. And you'll find articles that show you that the heart is some kind of... It, how they described it in one of the shows I watched was it's like a rope that twists to create a magnetic field, so to speak. It, it, it sort of twists. And so, it, and this is what you need to know about your heart, is because they've lied to you about everything, you need to know how that works too. Um, and this knowledge relates to frequencies and your mind and how you work. And essentially, when your heart and mind is, is actually, you don't even know you're doing it essentially because of the programming, but they are, using your free will to manifest their intentions okay through the power of suggestions on the television and their lies of everything to do with this reality unfortunately while they use the knowledge of creation let's call it um to basically go against creation itself to emulate it in fact because the ultimate intention is to create an emulation of God. Now I said that one word, then that's a trigger word in your head, and I will go into the Bible, and then boom, that's it, you're out of here. Um, so I'm not going to. But essentially, what I'm going to relate it to instead, what God is, is a is technologies. And so you need to know a great deal about their in, their devices and their intentions with these devices which a lot of people think are going to be beneficial for them and the civilization in which we live in it's a lie it's a trap because any you don't live in a good time you've never lived in a good time and unfortunately most people in this western world are have been brainwashed to, to think otherwise so you need to know in essence so I'm skipping all over all the place. How to manifest your will. But you also need to know their devices to know that you are manifesting the evil side of our civilization, the core of our society, those people that have used this knowledge to do what they want rather than what we should want as a civilization. Because the things that they're manifesting, they want is devastation, is destruction, it is 95% of all life off the earth. Destruction. Not caused by global warming, not caused by a comet, because they've lied to you about everything to do with space, to do with time. And so you need to know a great deal of knowledge in order to see and understand their symbols in plain sight. And so that they've lied to you about the heart because it's not a pump. It is actually uh, an integral part of how you, yourself, manifest your will. It is a magnetic field which is put around you, which is part of your connection to, well, a higher level of existence, let's call it. You know, a higher level of consciousness. Because what they're emulating, the cloud, 
is something that you're already connected to and that is called the Akashic record or the Akashic field so you are through your pineal gland once you access a certain amount of truth i.e. you literally build knock out their foundations which are well they're on the floor people you just gotta look at the right places and just look at, through my content you'll see you know new fear of geological time uh, space is a lie because it's a piece of technology it's that simple you can see it with your eyes you know they've lied to you about history you know and, and the people who are doing it are the ones on the television the ones that are in secret societies and, and do the pr very disgusting things behind closed doors while you think none of that really is is going on and then you know it's going on but you, you just you don't realize that it's on a scale unimaginable that every single person that's good should manifest the will against these people because they're going against creation they've literally lied to you about yourself how you even exist manipulated you through subconscious programming through the television and their corrupt ideologies through time that were created by banking elites during the 1800s you know, Baron of Avebury, for example. Sir John Lubbock. Knighthoods relate to paedophilia. And Sir Jimmy Savile got let off the hook because of knighthood. The BBC covered up it. And outside the BBC, there's a paedophile symbol. Come on. You know, I, what I'm... The things I'm saying, I'm trying to wake you up. But a lot of people will think this is a, some kind of terrorism or, you know, hate speech towards equality. I want equality. You know what I'm saying? I want everyone to be equal, not, and I want to take the power away from the elite who are doing this, who have no, you know, who are above the law. Do you want free energy for, for everyone using the same knowledge that they're going to try and kill you with? I mean, It's not, I so know. But we can manifest a better future if you know the knowledge. You know, and, they, and, and unfortunately, you need to know that they feed off your fear. They feed off you that you're from your negative emotions. And albeit I'm saying a horrible thing, I'm trying to be positive in the world of negativity by trying to use my free will and my knowledge to change your minds to then manifest a better bloody future. So that we can have free energy, a contribution-based society, you know? So that we can have freedom away from bureaucrats in Brussels who are connected to sick ideologies. You know? One nation in the world could, can do, change the world. It's certainly this one. And all nations now walk among, amongst each other. So we need to act as one too. We need to know the knowledge and we need to educate everyone. You know, the young, the elderly. So essentially, this is it. I'm trying to man use my knowledge to manifest a better future. And I'm trying to educate you that they've lied to you about the heart. And they're using knowledge of creation, in this case, frequencies, to go against everything. While you perceive this world to be peaceful, in the western world while the rest of the world gets ravaged because we live in so-called peace even though we're enslaved by money and in bondage because of your birth certificate which is a corporate certificate so you're born into a corporation you are owned you have never been free and the, the government's education system is corrupted this is a fact if you can continually believe everything you've been taught at school, well, guess what? You're wrong. You need to know the truth to set your mind free from their mass mind control, subconscious programming. Once you see the signs and symbols, you watch television in a very different way. If you start learning a bit of ancient history, you see television in a very different way. You start to see their lies. You start to see more that you've that that so many just even though they can see it, they can't see it because no one's pointing it out to them. 
So the spirals and everything, you see. People are getting tattoos of all these symbols on them, not knowing that they're the symbols of creation and that they're going against what they're bloody meant to be in the first place. An epidemic. That's what I call it. It's going to end badly. Because that's what they want to manifest. So please, educate yourself a little bit more.